Hi guys, my name is Jasper and today I'm going to perform an ARP poisoning by using Cain and Abel. So, what is Cain and Abel? Cain and Abel, also known as Cain, it is a graphical user interface tool and it has multiple functions including password recovery network packet sniffing, crypt analysis attack, and ARP poisoning. What is ARP poisoning? ARP poisoning, also known as ARP smoothing, the attacker will scan the target network before they launch an attack to find out the IP address of the target devices. Then, the attacker will start to spoof the target by using some specific tool to send out the fork ARP responses. And this action will fool the target devices to connect the attacker machine instead of they connecting the target devices. How ARP poisoning works in normal situation, client can directly send package or send message to the server and after the attacker has launched the ARP poisoning, the attacker can receive the message that being sent by the server or from the client which is similar to the diagram below for example like this diagram show that a third person has been launched an ARP poisoning attack and act as a middleman and listening to what the two persons are talking now it's a demonstration part so first we have a client machine an FTP server and an attacker machine and the tool that we are using is Kane and Abel the version is 4.9.45 and then we back to our client machine and we open the command prompt and we type ipconfig slash all to check all the IP address and the MAC address And then we go to the FTP server and open the command prompt and type ipconfig slash all to check all the IP address and IP address to check all the MAC address and IP address of the FTP server. Alright, and then we back to our attacker machine. So, we go to the sniffer tab and then we press the second icon to start sniffer When we press the second icon to start sniffer After that, we press the big blue cross to start the MAC address scanner After the scanning process, we can see that the client IP address and MAC address and the FTP server IP address and MAC address are shown in the list. Then we press the ARP tab and we simply click on any row or any column in the table and we press the big blue cross again and it will show a ARP poison routing table. On the left hand side, we need to choose our client IP address and the right hand side, we choose our FTP server address Then we can see that the left side is the client IP address and MAC address and the right side is the FTP server MAC address and IP address and the status showing that it is an ideal status Then, we press the third icon to start poisoning the ARP. Once we click the icon, the status will immediately change to poisoning, which means that the ARP poisoning is 
launching then we go to the password tab and in this password tab we can check all the credential or the information that we collect from from the client and the FTP server for example now the client access the FTP from their site by using a command FTP 192.168.0.116 and the username is Jack and the password is Jack123 and it shows that user has logged in and the attacker machine inside the software Kane and Able it will pop out the username and the password that called that the client just used and now the attacker can try to log into the FTP server by using the credential that it has just collect just now using the same command FTP 192.168.0.116 and the username is Jack the password is Jack123 and it shows that Jack logged in and that's all for the demonstration thank you for watching